and a fourth farm as well. We know what that means. Expansion, it should be. Both heroes here are creeping up to level two. These early game items can be quite nice indeed. Ring for the Keeper, not the best. Tome of Strength also. Colorful so far, not really blessed. Where's the AM? He likes those items. Ring and Claws, those look good. We will have an expansion. Question is just when. Alright, the AM is checking out what's going on, waiting for night time, it hits now. Of course, when the creeps are asleep, it's a little bit easier to perfectly engage this camp. And Concealed Hill especially, normally we see a lot of peasants being pulled to be on the safe side. This also seems to be the idea here. They have kind of trouble exiting the base, uh, unfortunately. But it is a total of nine peasants. Wait, is that nine? That is nine peasants. All right. Once you creep this with Water Elemental and peasants in the AM and the footies keep the archers at bay. This is pretty cool if it all works out. Mistake by Leon. Oh, gave that one away. I think this could have been a great early game for Leon had he gotten the last hit. The keeper perfectly timed, of course, by Colorful. Well done. But Leon could have and should have secured that last hit. Now he needs a little bit more for the level 3. But all things considered, it wasn't that many peasants falling. At least, not yet. Also feel like the footy control here could be a little bit better. One footy targeting the keeper here, or maybe even two, could threaten him as well. But he's putting the footies on the tree, and this is not exactly ideal. And the end was a lot of peasants going down in the end. Oh man, that was a super impactful last hit steal. If that goes to Leon, he's got the level three. The keeper is denied his level three. Way fewer peasants go down. And with that steal, I must see Colorful in the driver's seat here. All right, we'll see if that works out. It's the keep uh, the panda second, which is the normal choice here on this map. Getting us around on the Archmage. Oh, Leon. Kind of feeling the heat rising, I would say. But he's staffing onto the footies. Once we get some cancels and lore cancels, this timing are absolutely huge. Next up, the tech must be the priority for Leon. Oh man, but that's a late expansion, by the way. Town Hall finishes at 625. And the lumber for Leon is, well, looking decent. Tech can start soon after. Watch Elemental in the main base almost got another cancel. Clutch detonate there, though, by a Colorful, who will soon have to choose whether he wants to counter expand or go all in. Keeper nicely juiced up again. He got some good experience with the peasants earlier, with some footies and water elementals here and there. All of a sudden, Keeper's close to level 4. And is looking for more harass. Treants summoned. And a single arcane tower takes a while to deal with them. Footies will fall back. Deal with that, maybe. And the AM again looking for an opening. And sees no tech in the Knight of Base, by the way. So that means that Leon knows he's got lots of time still until the bears are ready. Oh my god, I didn't realize it until now.
There must be a misclick, right? You could argue that maybe it makes sense that the Dryads would soon come out, but there's a big window before Dryads are ready. Um, well, hopefully the AM will be level 4 soon and then all issues will be resolved. My previous question, by the way, now getting an answer on our minimap. Tree of Life is coming up, Colorful is going for the counter expansion rather than going for the push, which also tends to be quite uh, popular on this map. Nice little creep jack here. Yeah, experience with the panda, also the heal potion. If these footies had defend, this would be super strong, but they do not. Lumber was kind of low. The early peasant losses, painful over and over. Good scout here by the AM though. Sees the tree of life, but there's no way he can hope for a cancel here. Oh, he's trying with the creeps. Ambitious, hurt as he is. Again and again, we come back to this point from the early game. The last hit steal, the level 3, the peasants going down. That all really, really hurt Leon. But he is stabilizing. He's getting three towers at the expansion, two in the main base. The Sanctums are coming, the MK is almost ready. And then Lumber will be looking a bit better again. Oh... Well, the peasant goes down, at least one Sanctum will finish, the second one can be started soon. Lumber Mill in the main base, by the way, was pretty late as well. That could have been macroed up a little bit quicker, but of course easier said than done with all the madness that has been ensuing here. Footies in the south, looking for the next little attack. This is very ambitious by Leon. This is a lot of low HP footies. If he loses all of these, with no gain, he will also have lost lot of, uh, a lot of his creep opportunity. Alright, so seems like our game is finally stabilizing, Colorful finally falling back a bit, but look at the Keeper. And again, it comes all back to that early game last hit on the big creep. Now he's level 4, he's got the level 2 Entangle and the level 2 tree and can continue to, to look for kills and perhaps even get level 5 or 6 at some point this game. Yeah, I was kind of worried there. Two rifles were stuck in the main base, as the humans like to do. Um, but he got the Zeppelin. Could get him out. Uh, yeah, tier 3. I think I've been seeing a little bit more of that recently, right? Tier 3 for human, or is this just a Leon special?
They creep here in the middle for the panda. Level 4 for him. Not the best item. Helm of Valor and Slippers. Both... Yeah. Far from ideal. Um, but the levels here. The levels speak a clear language. MK is super underleveled. Archmage also for this late into the game. You want him on level 4? Seems like he's gonna be there soon. But with tier 3 around the corner, Leon's gonna go for a third hero. Everything but a Paladin would hugely surprise me, I guess. And Concealed Hill... Uh, if you have map control, you can creep these camps quickly away with the map control that you have pretty easily. That's exactly what Colorful's doing. That's the right move. He wants to double down on his hero advantage. A player's forces are under attack. As I have to spell, but might not be enough to save these rifles. The entangle plus the slow make it really hard here to get away. But if only one rifle dies, that's a pretty good escape. Also, another priest will be falling. Colorful doing a good job. He finds the creep jack, finds some kills, and will most likely be able to get the camp right after. Item here. This one's gonna be a good one for Colorful. Gets the Lion Horn to benefit his whole army. And almost level 5 keeper now. Level 5, if Leon is good with this spell, of course, won't be that impactful normally. But it does open the gates to level 6, which would be a game changer. Attack now towards the expansion. Or oh, quick reaction by Leon. This was actually important. The more team with frag shots saved into the back can now put out big damage. But this town hall is taking a lot of damage as well. And the pally is finally out. And this is a great healer. One of the best heals in the game in Holy Light. Not for uh, multiple targets, of course. But for single target, it is amazing. Great for the MK. Great for the Knights as well. Which now we have to build, finally, some front line. Yeah, the humans, we all know. The later the t game goes, the higher the tech, the bigger the army, the better it gets normally for those. For the Alliance. So Colorful may feel some pressure here on him to... Get stuff done before Leon is completely out of control. We have a gyro now as well. Flying vision, very important so that the fairies above the trees can easily be spotted. Inner fire here, by the way, can be insanely good. Plus five armor on MK and Pally and Knights is amazing. And now we're starting to enter the territory where the Dryad mana may not be sufficient anymore to dispel everything. I mean, it's two... Okay, it's three rifles. Might be a bit of an overstatement to say this is an inner fire rifle strat. It is a beautiful, well-rounded tier 3 strat that now we'll soon get to see if Leon can make it work in the very late game. Oh, the blizzard! Yeah, interesting build on the Archmage. 1-2-1, one, one, which most likely later he's going to retrain, but uh, Leon holds here in the main base. Supply is still very even. By the way, also some militia, some peasants were rotated out, which is no lumber issues because the Shredder uh, got all the lumber in earlier. Heal scroll count here is also very important. And Leon didn't even have to use a heal scroll yet. Now he can get to the red. If he can creep this, stay there safely and heal up, Leon might be in the leading position all of a sudden. All 
Alright, the experience here for Leon level 3 MK is gonna be huge. Level 2 Pally should go for the aura, I think. And then try to... Where are the gyres? I can't even see them. Ah, in the main, right next to the towers. Oh, that could be a bit of nerves. Also... Also no TP. If he gets caught in a corner here, this could be a bit scary. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah. The gyres are coming. Lufthansa, last call has been paid to attention to. Colorful, rich, by the way. More than a thousand gold, he's been banking. He's been getting upgrades, two, three already on the bears, quite nice. But Clab Blizzard has some of the best potential against them in the late game. And Leon's got pretty good levels already, and every additional level up will be amazing for him. I look at these hippos though, and I wonder if they are the same unkillable. It is in a fire flying machine though with two two. I take it back. I take it back. And the MK control wasn't the best, he's continuing to kite backwards. Remember that there is no TP here, but there was a big heal scroll right before the Breath of Fire. A bit of highlight again, clap once more, but Leon's mana is running low. Very, very low. Can the bears chew through this? Where's the holy light? Didn't holy light the MK! Leon! He's panicking! Oh, Leon. He was so close in that breath of fire. Gyro's begging for it. And I'm staffing back in. He's got mana. Lots of it. <laughs> oh. And he has to call it. GG. Well played. Good game. Leon was close to it. He was close to it, but made a few too many mistakes. Of course, the early game, the one big one, and I feel like that one's the one that really hurts, because outside of the last hit loss, he played such a good early. It was so clean, and then that one major mistake really, really threw him back. And then the late game engagement was pretty poor, honestly. If you don't have a TP, you need to um, retreat back, curve around the forest towards your main base, not towards the fountain. You're going to get stuck there, and the MK was... His unit that was furthest away from the bears, which was, uh, yeah, not the way you want it. Okay. And what did he uh, come right into? It's true. Yeah. So, you, 
you just mentioned that Concealed Hill can be a bit tough for humans to expand on. Would you care to talk about this map then? Wait, you mean like expand bottom right? No way. Upper left. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, fast expansion normally to be ruled out, especially if you face a keeper. Oh, but it's a warden. Okay. And also, how's he gonna creep this warden? This is Chiller Rock. A surprising choice to me. Seems like the Demon Hunter has really, really fallen off in this matchup. And not that, I, not that I'm complaining, because the mana burn really made uh, the mid-game dull at times. Now we are allowed to use spells again, which is kind of nice. Um, he must play in Second Agent of War, though, right? Like, otherwise, how the hell is this Warden supposed to creep? See your unbiased casting has really reached a new level. Very impressive. Oh. Warden on the way. Two wisps on the way. Okay. Alright. Leon is uh, putting all of his chips on the table right here, right now. One detonate. Gonna get the second one as well. Most likely. We'll see what the warden chooses. She's got a fan of knives. She's gonna pick the target soon. Of course, she wants to get the creep. Oh, mistake on the detonate, but the right click gets the kill and the item as well. AM stuck on level one. Risky early. Sick last hits by Colorful, by the way. Map 1 and Map 2, he got both level ups from the right click. Nice Dota skills. Uh, I would say here it was hard to play around. Map 1 really is where Leon should have been able to prevent it. And there's another footy going down. And he can go Shadow Meld. Oh, sick early by Colorful. Last hit! Oh, that would have been so sick to the archer, but did not get it this time. Ooh. Pain. The pain train. Leon's so afraid. Oh, he could have gotten it, lol. But, alright. Finally, level 2. New round of boys has been called, but this was a sensational early for Colorful. He's full HP again, full mana, 2.5 on the Warden. But despite this great early, it's still not that easy for the Warden to get a level 3. Oh! Yeah, it's kind of funny, we're now at 450 XP. Only 100 of this came from creeping herself. <laughs> And you know, some people say Colorful's Warden is pretty weak. <laughs> oh, this Warden might find level 3. Oh, sick deny with the pickaxe! Nice play with the Peasant. And Colorful can be really annoying here because there's still no dust. Leon never had the chance, the time, to get to the shop. And now the Warden almost has that level 3. Needs just one more. Oh, 
All right, tier two is about to finish. Colorful has a wide array of strats to choose from. The early game for Leon was far from perfect, so there's still a lot of time for Colorful to make his choice. Could go for a second hero, could go tier three, could go for a counter expo. When you play Warden, you're very often tempted to rush tier three and level her up like crazy. Leon now with a creep jack opportunity, finally one of his own. But he doesn't have that many units here. But also only two footies and AM who's very much hurt. Needs to check back with his health insurance, make sure he's covered well enough. Especially when you get into the olden years, you know, it's important. I mean, how much gray hair do you have? We don't even know how much gray you ha hair you have, Neil. What about in the southern regions? <laughs> Do you check every morning? <laughs> check, check the status? Oh, Blink Fan! And that is one more gray hair on the top of his head. A case of the Mondays. Do you know that uh, that comedy movie, uh, Office Space? The quote is from that movie, uh, Case of Mondays. It's a great comedy movie. I, uh, it's one from the creator of... Uh, what was it called again? Beavis and Butthead, yeah. Yeah. It's very different, to be honest. It is, it is not as... Uh... Absurd? Grotesque? No. Uh, obvious. We'll find the right adjective one day. Oops. Warden finding a big mana potion. I hear she likes those. And now going for the counter expansion. It seems like Colorful has plenty of time until Leon finally becomes dangerous. And to make things a little worse, as if they're not bad enough already, on this map you can't go for a Zeppelin to protect peasants from the warden because ain't no lab here. Oh, and there's fresh bears here with fresh rejuve. They just right click warden right now, but of course still has the in, uh, mana potion. By the way, uh, level 3 foul knives nowadays hits two more targets, right? In the last few weeks, have we seen that make a big difference? But it's a nice little weapon. Really scary attack here. The tier 3 bear dry at warden level 5, timing hitting hard, and Leon has basically nothing. There's the mana potion, and there's the GG. Colorful with a very strong performance. Leon taking a few risks, with not all of them working out. And Colorful here, so far today, at least in the first match, looked like the better player.